Good morning again guys. Today we're going to talk about gluing PVC pipe and whether or not it actually needs to be glued. Stick around and we'll talk about it. So we're just going to take the wire, gently pull down. The cord is pretty much melted together. So there we have our end, our finished end with our So as you can see, we have inch and a quarter trade conduit here, and this is basically for the communications next to this power cable that we have. The power cable is 200 amps coming in, and the communications is inch and a quarter, so that will give um, the communications company a way to pull into the new host that we're wiring. So you can see that runs all the way up to the top of the pole, um, not the top of the pole, where the communications is with uh, a fitting entrance on the end. And then we have come down and we glue each piece of PVC pipe together. And then we come to what's called an expansion joint. So this expansion joint needs to go just above grade so that this can expand. And it's not for the pole expanding, it's for the ground, for the frost heave. And then we come down into a 90 and we follow our trench the whole way along. Each section needs to be cleaned and glued thoroughly. We follow that all the way back, we'll walk the trench here. It's a 100 foot trench. Now if there's any sand that gets into these pipes when we're gluing them together, that'll affect the uh, the rating on the glue and it will tend to want to pull apart and you don't want that. That's why it's important for it to be extremely clean and glued together. Now we come to a 90 here and then over here we're going to do a 90 on the end and I'll show you the glue. This is basically going to 90 up and then go up into there. Um, so when we do the 90 on the end, we're going to put an expansion joint on the other end as well and that's going to allow us to to expand on the hose. So the conduit of the glue that we use here in Canada is a PVC solvent cement. Um, it's a low VOC and that's what we use to glue the pipe together. So this stuff is kind of stinky. Um, just going to open it up here. And that gets glued, see how it's runny there? It's, it's got that little applicator on the end and that gets glued on the, in, on the outside of the one pipe and on the inside of the other, or the bell end of the pipe. Now you can see over here where we've glued it up close. Uh, the glue comes right to the end here and we glue all the way back on the inside of here to make sure that these two fittings go together properly. Okay guys, so we just wanted to show how we actually glue two pieces of pipe uh, together. So here you can see I'm cleaning the burrs off the end of the, the, uh, the, the piece of pipe that we've cut. Now in addition we can go ahead and get a solvent to clean the end of this pipe up, but we usually just clean it up by hand, especially if we're on, uh, on the job site. And then, like I said, we need to make sure the inside of that pipe is completely uh, clean, where the bell end is. And then he's going to apply our glue here after he cleans that up. And the glue is going to get applied on the inside of the bell on the one with a quick swap. And then on the outside of the other one. And then he's going to quickly join the two of them together and secure it into place and hold it. So that goes all the way in until the glue drips out nicely. And then it's about 15 seconds and it sets up. And that's how you properly glue a piece of underground pipe together. So just to clarify that, the joint apart, you can see this bell end here on the end of this uh, 45 degree elbow. You can see down inside, the pipe is supposed to go right up into that point there. So we glue the whole way around the inside of this, and then we glue the whole way around the outside of that, and then those two actually fit together. And we make sure they go in there all the way and tight. Now what we usually do when we do bends like this, we'll do a dry fit first and to make sure it's the way we want and then we'll glue it after the fact and we'll also clean it up. But in any case, the PVC needs to be glued. If it's not glued, what will happen is Frost Eve will eventually separate it. And then of course when you get separated you get water in the line and then all kinds of bad things happen to your cable. So we don't want that. Anyway guys, that's it on gluing PVC pipe together. Hope you liked the video. If you want to see more videos, click up here in the corner. 
or come over to the website where everything is organized in a nice searchable fashion. Don't forget never do your own electrical work and we'll see you, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.